Hey YouTubers and welcome to another DVD and Blu-ray update. I think the last time I did a DVD update it was in June. My short movie uh, Doorslag uh, I made um, is uh, went to a film festival outside of Holland in, uh, in England. Uh, it was shown at uh, the Portobello Film Festival in uh, London. So that was kind of awesome. Uh, other film festivals are yeah, I got rejected so uh, from, off, uh, from today you, the movie is unlocked and you can check it out so I'll put the link uh, uh, below uh, in in the information box. So if you want to check it out, please do and uh, make a if, review it if you like. Uh, that would be awesome. Uh, give the rating on IMDb. That would be would be very cool. Okay, well, let's go on to the DVDs and Blu-rays. They're all DVDs I got for for my birthday. I bought some uh, DVDs I just got from a colleague. That she they bought it for uh, very cheap and she uh, wasn't using them. So I want to think uh, she said, "When do you want some DVDs?" Sure, why not? So let's go on to the first DVD, and it's season two of Dollhouse. I saw the first season, really like it, and yeah, what's not like from Joel Sweden. Um, I really like the first season, and uh, I, it was time to get the second one. I got uh, season two from Space, very awesome. Just started with season one, uh, and I really enjoyed it. It's Earthbound and Down, yeah, <laughs> with David McBride, uh, Will Ferrell is also in it, and. Uh, I heard a lot of good things about it, so I'm um, very curious how, how it is, and uh, I'm looking forward to see it. Next one is a, a horror movie, or suspense movie. It's uh, The Awakening, with uh, Rebecca Hall, and uh, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a, a good story. Um, um, yeah, I really enjoyed this film. The next one is one of the DVDs I got for free, so I'm not quite sure... Uh, I don't know the name, but I never saw it. It's the Dead Zone, so I'm not quite sure, yeah, what to expect. Cutting glass with Brad Pitt, no clue. Heard from it from, from the name sounds familiar, but I never saw this movie. The next one is Unset with Andy Garcia. Um, also sounds familiar. Didn't see it yet. It's the uh, honeymoon in Vegas. Uh, also heard of this movie. Also didn't see it yet. So. Uh, but yeah, I got it for free, for, so I want to check it out. If it's if insane, no, if they don't like it, they're gone away. Next one is Stephen King's Tales from the Dark Side. I always saw this cover on the, when it was still it was still on a VHS in the rental store here. I always, uh, I was a kid. I was, uh, I was pretty, yeah, I was pretty, uh, in, yeah, curious to see all those horror movies, but I was too young to check those horror movies out, and I always went went to the section of the horror movies and saw this. This was one of them, and I was very curious to see oh, how it goes, how it goes, and um, yeah, but I didn't get to see those horror movies, so now I can because I'm now old enough. The next one is a uh, sequel to a movie um, I got on DVD and now got on Blu-ray, and I'm not that I'm not the guy who. Who, uh, when you buy, buy it, buys a DVD and then later it's on Blu-ray, going to buy it on Blu-ray. So I think that's really pointless. When you, I, I got a big TV where I can check it out on Blu-ray. You see a difference, yes, but when you just were watching and uh, it's not like, oh man, I, sh I, I wish I had, I had this one uh, on Blu-ray right now. But uh, uh, it's, a, it's a collection. The, the first one uh, was uh, The Collector. It's about a guy who uh, it's about a, bur a guy who has to break in a house and at the, when he breaks in, there's already someone in the house who sets all kind of traps in in that place. So and he has to find a way out. And this uh, one is a sequel. I didn't really enjoy it. I was kind of surprised uh, that I really like it. I had no expectation. This one is also very cool, and it's a big bigger set. Uh, so gross kills and. Uh, yeah, a very in, in, yeah, very cool horror movie. So if you like horror, take this one out. It's the fourth season, season of Fringe. Um, they showed four episodes here in Holland on TV from the fourth season, and then it just stopped. They couldn't answer when it came, when it came back or that kind of stuff. So that was kind of annoying. But uh, now I got on Blu-ray, and uh, I think season five is also also out on Blu-ray. Have to wait for a little little for the price drop. But uh, then I'm gonna get it. Uh, because I really like Fringe, and uh, fifth, the fifth season is also the final season. Trouble with the Curve. Um, I enjoyed the film. The next one is a, a movie from the same director as In Bruges. Uh, I really enjoyed that film. Uh, it's Seven Psychopaths, starring a lot of people. Colin Farrell, Sam Rockwell, Woody Harrelson, Christopher Walken, Tom Waits, Abby Cornish, Olga Korolenka. 
and it's about Colin Farrell is a writer who's going to write a story about some psychopaths. He wants to write a good story and then he got involved in all, uh, some illegal businesses and that's all gonna out of hand and very much hand gestures. Uh, it's been a while I've seen it so I'm this, this the trouble with me I'm also very, sometimes very bad in uh, explaining movies uh, correctly. Uh, but this, I really enjoyed this film. Um, definitely check it out if you like In Bruges. I th still think In Bruges was a better movie because yeah, I really uh, enjoyed it. Next one is a movie I still have to see, uh, but the plot sounds very cool. This uh, is a movie set, set in Aran Island. Um, it's a, the movie is called Grabbers. It's a place where you got, uh, that gets invaded by aliens, and the only way to defeat them is if you're drunk, because then they can't read you or your where you were about, so something like that. But um, it looks like, the trailer looks like fun. I heard some good things about it, and also what I heard was that the the people, uh, the actors in this film, was were constantly shit faced making this movie. So I'm very curious uh, how that worked out in the movie. Cock Knees versus zombies. So, don't know if I don't know if you have seen it. If so, what do you think of it? But uh, yeah, it looks like a fun movie. Your sister's sister, uh, starring Emily Blunt, Rosemary DeWitt, and Mark play Dupla. And uh, that is also a very very fun movie. It's, uh, it's a wrong com, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, check it out. It's fun. Also, the great and powerful. Um, from Sam Raimi and I must say um, I really enjoyed this film, thought it was great, also uh, great visuals, uh, I really liked uh, how they, uh, how they, how the whole set is and very very enjoy, uh, enjoyed it, also start, uh, yeah definitely check this one out if you, if you like the, these kind of movies, uh, I, I really enjoyed it. The Hero with Jet Li, so uh, I think 40 minutes of it and uh, because uh, it was someone with some classmates and at one point we had to leave so we didn't get a chance to see the see, uh, finished movie so and, and never tried, never re watched it again ever uh, so I have to give it a chance and glad I wait uh, for three years on Blu-ray it's a pretty good deal so here next movie is a movie I very very much enjoy it's uh, uh, like The Hangover but then with teenager dead teenagers 21, 20, 21 year olds it's called 21 and over and here in Holland we laugh because we can drink when we are 16. Uh, but 21 and over is a fun about the three friends and one of them uh, gets pissed and you know, every time they look, the friends look around he's gone and he, they try to find him and bring him back home back to so he can work on his exam. And it, it's a very much very fun movie uh, for a fun Friday night or fun whatever you can watch it whenever you want. It's a very fun comedy. Next one is an animation that I don't think it got a release here in the cinema, but maybe well, maybe it did. I don't know for sure. It's Hotel Transylvania with Adam Sandler. But I really like this animation. Very fun, very goofy characters, and yeah, animation. Uh, they most of the time they work very well, and they did it indeed in this one. And I I laughed a lot, and uh, it's it's a, it's a great movie. Gangster Squad with Sean Penn, Emma Stone. Uh, Ryan Gosling, Josh Brolin, Nick Nolte. A very fun, um, a very cool, uh, stylish movie. Uh, Sean Penn, he uh, his, uh, his, his acting is very awesome in this movie. I really like it because it's also filled with uh, a bit of humor in it, and I always liked it. Uh, great, great, great. Film. Jack Reacher. A fun action, uh, action flick, and. What can I say more? I really, I really enjoy this film. Just, uh, just a good popcorn flick. Next one is a very be beautiful, entertaining film. It's Silver Lines Playbook with Jennifer Lawrence, Bradley Cooper, uh, Robert De Niro, and Chris Tucker. I don't know why Chris Tucker is on the, the cover here because he's, he's very, for a very short time in the movie. But okay. Um, I really enjoy this. If you have uh, now one of the big, bigger movies because of the Oscar uh, nominations uh, for it, so you probably are, or didn't, if you haven't seen it, you're just not interested, or you have seen it and you found it awesome. I think maybe just just mumbling, mumbling around here. But I really enjoy this film. If you haven't seen it yet and you're curious, definitely get get this uh, one uh, a viewing. 
Nice one. It's a very good movie. Nah, very good. It's not uh, true, but I'm back in acting, you know. Uh, that's my very bad impression of Arnold Schwarzenegger. And probably everyone, when he's going to do if the movie of, of Arnold Schwarzenegger, he's probably going to do that in that accent because it's so much fun. And it's to do, yeah. It's the last stand. Yeah, get down to the minigun and take him down to the bus and get job and I cause him to town and he has to protect them. I, I, and I got old and fat and I'm not trained anymore. But this is a fun to do a movie. I'm not a senator anymore, so I'm gonna do the movie. Okay, uh, John Nixon plays an idiot. He's an he plays an idiot and I, I have to work with him because I got a lot of money and I get down to the chopper. But now uh, I'm back, I'm back, I got down, you know, I'm in a ski plan with my friend, uh, Liz Stallone, yeah, that's his name, yeah, okay, this, uh, this is just going nowhere. <laughs> uh, yeah, the last stand, uh, if you haven't heard it already. Um, and now is he in a movie called, uh, uh, last stand, it's a good, uh, uh, fun action flick, not, not, not just for a normal day, not, nothing special, but uh, entertaining. Uh, and I must say, I saw Escape Plan last, uh, last week, and um, I didn't know what expected. I thought well, it's going to be okay, but I was surprised, uh, surprisingly uh, uh, surprised. <laughs> um, I, I really enjoyed it, thought it was great, great chemistry between those uh, two. Um, and uh, thought, thought it was really kind of an old school 90s movie, and uh, like, like, yeah. I, re I really enjoyed it, so it's like a nice, I got to help you out the president. What do you say? I don't understand what you're saying. And that's going by around uh, 4 or 40 minutes of the movie, no, just kidding. Uh, I really, uh, Escapel is a very good, a good entertaining film, but less than also. And next one is The Dictator with Sasha Born Conan. Cohen. He plays a dictator, he comes to the States and, and he gets. Um, he gets he, he, someone kidnaps him, shaves his beard off, and nobody recognizes him. And double uh, takes his place, and he has to try to get 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 back to his power and meets in affairs and that kind of stuff. But it's a fun a fun comedy. I really laughed a lot and uh, a, a entertaining comedy. Next one is a movie I really enjoyed. It was really got bash in uh, sorry. And uh, reviews and also got one star on a movie site here in Holland on a bigger movie site and I thought what? And I saw it I re and I really thought it was an entertaining film. It was The Watch uh, with Ben Siller, Vince Vaughn, uh, Jonah Hill and Richard Ayode who we might know from the IT crowd and his uh, last movie um, Submarine and his upcoming movie The Double. But I thought it was really entertaining, funny and yeah can say more about it. I really enjoyed this. The Guilt Trip with Seth Rogen and Barbara Streisand. Um, I didn't see the movie yet, but it looks like a fun road trip movie. And yeah, I don't expect much, but uh, to be entertained. So, Identity Thief with uh, Jason Bateman and Melissa McCarthy. Did I say that right? McCarthy. McCarthy, sorry. I really enjoyed this. Very fun movie and uh, yeah, an entertaining movie. The Fugitive. Pimble! That was the janitor from Scrubs who was in this movie. But a very cool movie. Uh, yeah, I don't have much to say about it, but because most of the people know this movie. It's 10 years with Channing Tatum, uh, Justin Long, I think, and a lot of other people. It's a fun movie. It's, it's a, some people come back to a renew, reunion of uh, 10 years uh, later uh, after their uh, high school. And um, uh, it, yeah, that's it actually. And some uh, yeah, events happen. Uh, um, it's a fun, fun definitely a fun, uh, cozy movie uh, if you, to check out. Very, very much fun. The uh, the Rise of the Guardians. I think that's English title because animation. Some some animations get the Dutch title here, and that's kind of annoying. But uh, I, I probably yeah, I'll enjoy this film. I'm quite sure of it. Next is a movie that pretty got underrated here uh, and uh, anywhere else, I think. Uh, from the Wachowski brothers, it's Cloud Atlas. It took a long time to get on Blu-ray because it got announced to get a release for far, a long time ago and then months later just came out. 
Um, but I really enjoyed this film. Thought it was very good, cool, uh, very great story. I, I really, I really enjoyed it. So I can say more about it. I really uh, liked it. A double pack of Blu-ray. It's uh, Star Trek and Star Trek Into Darkness. I really like this first one, the first Star Trek films. Didn't had. Uh, I thought I had. A, uh, I thought I had uh, the, the fir first one already, but it turns out I didn't. Uh, so I got this. Uh, that one. Uh, yeah, I, that's why I got the blue, the double box set. But uh, I thought the Into Darkness was also very cool. And uh, the Kumarbach, Kumarbach. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce the last name. He plays the bad guy very well. I thought, think it's he's an awesome actor. Also uh, like Sherlock a, a lot. Uh, also great, uh, great series. Um, but now, yeah, if you're a fan of, him, I'm not a very fan of the show. Never was really. But I, I really enjoy these films. It's yeah, it's not really movies. More like a. a the, the, the director talking to the audience and the audience can ask questions. It's uh, Too Fat for 40 for, uh, from uh, Kevin Smith. Um, Self to see, but uh, I really like those uh, things of Kevin Smith. I got the, the, the an evening with Kevin Smith and the two other parts. So, uh, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure how this is. Next one is Zero Dark Thirty. I thought it was a very cool movie, very, very. Uh, um, very awesome, a great actor from Jessica Sustain. Uh, Sustain. Um, I really, yeah, I really like it. Uh, oh, yeah, one part is. Yeah, I don't know if, yeah, maybe I spoil little, but uh, if you, if so, do this, and when I do this again for the second time, um, you can put your fingers away. At the scene when they were there at the house of Osama bin Laden. They make a lot of noise. I think why? why it's uh, your your unit try to sneak in a special force unit with uh, as l less noise as possible entering that house and landing there with the chopper. But the, it was so loud. I don't understand why they did that like that because you you expect uh, a whole sneak uh, stealth. Uh, attack on the house, or uh, but they know whoa, 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 land, uh, land people fall. There was a lot of noise before they entering the house, so that was kind of weird, but okay. But uh, otherwise, it's a very cool movie. Next is a movie, and it's it's a, I really enjoy this film The Perks of Being a Wallflower. It's written by the guy who also wrote the book and also directed by him, so that's a, that's a very good combination. He did a very good job. I really thought it was a great film. De uh, definitely check it out if you didn't see it yet. Next one is the one movie I got on Blu-ray for 5 euros. It's The Goonies. Um, yeah, I saw this movie a lot when I was uh, when I was little. Didn't see it a while back, but um, uh, yeah, I know it's a great film. It's not, not, yeah, can add nothing to it. It's just a great film. Next one is an Australian movie called Griff the Invincible. It's about a guy who is a kind of a loner. On, uh, he, he, uh, he's really by himself, and he, yeah, he's a superhero on, uh, next to his job. If all, that's what you, and that's what you see. And he, for, for what I thought it was, would be the actually the uh, Australian version of uh, Kick Ass, but it's. It's yeah, it's a very di different th different uh, movie than I expected, but better than I expected. It's a very, it's a very very sweet movie, and uh, definitely check this one out. I, I really enjoy this. Next one is Stitches the Clown. Uh, saw this movie uh, the trailer uh, once and it looked like a fun, uh, fun fun movie. Got, got it for uh, six euros and played it count so. Uh, it was a pretty good deal and uh, I still have to see him, but it looks like fun. Silent Hill. Uh, never saw it here, it was in the cinema. Didn't check it out then because I'm not really familiar with the game. But yeah, this movie uh, was good. They, they did a good job on, on bringing on the same atmosphere from what I saw from Silent Hill, uh, the game. Um, it could could have used more. Uh, it, was, it wasn't really scary and uh, it, it could be a more a bit cozier. If the cozier. That, that that's the only critic point I could give, but for overall it was a good movie. And then we got the second part, it's Silent Hill Revelation 3D. And this part is more on the cozy part better, but it's a lot less 
than the fir the first movie. This one has a, a plot where you they where you think it yeah it has to make up something to make to make a new story, but with some uh, the the story wasn't that great. Still entertaining, but m much uh, less uh, uh, not that not that very good. Next one is a movie called Pontypool, and heard a lot of uh, heard some stuff, uh, heard some things about it, and uh, I really thought I thought it was a great film. I really enjoyed this uh, total cult uh, cult film, uh, total cult movie, and I, I really like, I think think this uh, this is great. It's about a guy who who is normally uh, very popular and now works at an uh, a small station in in a place and and something weird is going on. You, you only see the, the inside. Uh, the most of the what you see is inside this studio, and they get some disturbing uh, news about about some people who get doing weird stuff in their in that village, uh, attacking other people, uh, killing that kind of stuff. And yeah, and this brings up a great suspense. But it's I thought it was a great film, and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this. Pontypool. And the last one, one for today, is also a movie which I really, really enjoyed. It, uh, it's just a big smile on my face. And it, it, I saw it two times in the cinema and it, it's such a, yeah, such a cozy, feel-good film. It's Seeking a Friend for the End of the World with Steve Carell and Keir Knightley. It, it's, it's, I really enjoyed this film, great film. Check it out if you haven't seen it yet. So those were my DVDs and Blu-rays, quite a lot, so uh, I hope people have had the patience to watch this whole video. So for the, for my short movie I will post uh, the link below and please uh, check it out if you like it. It's in Dutch but got English shops and it's an, yeah, a serious short movie. So, so please check out my movie uh, and uh, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. This was Long Now and out.